here you can see the Storm Rider vehicle. It is a brand new vehicle that was introduced into the market uh, only a few months ago. It is uh, one of the first vehicle which is around 11.5 ton GVW and can carry um, 10 soldiers. So it is very unique. Not only it is protected against mines and also can provide a very high level of protection for kinetic energy. What you can see here is again the very unique kitted hull of Plasan. All the vehicle is bolted in order to allow us to provide the vehicle to customer that would like to assemble the vehicle themselves. The mechanism and all the doors are very straightforward. As you can see, I can actually open it with my only few fingers. The other way, the heavy door is equipped with the stabilizer so it will not uh, close because it is heavy and you can see that all Plasan vehicles are equipped with internal liner. What you can see here is that all Plasan vehicle which are mine protected are equipped with one lever that also operating two combat locks in order to prevent the door from opening during blast. It is a very um, easy to operate and also provide the ergonomic aspects which is related to this kind of vehicle. Inside the vehicle there is a very convenient dashboard which is much more suitable uh, for the use of different mission around the globe and of course the blast mitigated seat and the floating floor are, allow are allowing us to protect the soldiers from blast underneath the vehicle. Beside the driver's seat, which is very convenient, you can also see the position of the potentially remote control weapon station, which is going to be mounted over here. So this is the gunner station for the remote control weapon station. And on top of that, all doors for soldiers are equipped with gun port that are allowing us to return fire in case of uh, insurgents attack. The other thing which is also nice about the Storm Rider that it comes in different design. Here you can see a very smooth design, a more round and in the catalog you can see other designs. So again our ability to adapt the vehicle according to the customer need. Finally, the driveline is a very powerful driveline, about 330 horsepower, including independent suspension, all-wheel drive, differential locks, front, center, and rear, and of course, integrated CTIS with a huge mount engine-mounted compressor. The other thing which is also important is that the vehicle, in case of the need of the customer, can come also with all the features that are related to NATO standard, if they are required, like a towing hook, electric devices, and other features which are related to mission modules according to NATO standard. That's all for now, folks. See you at the next episode of SOAP.